So Joanne Vega Estramera, known by her artist name Vega, is currently a student at the Virginia Commonwealth University School of the Arts and is pursuing a degree in painting and printmaking. She is scheduled to graduate from VTU in fall 2024 and will focus on her career as a multimedia artist. Before attending VCU, Vega served 20 years in the US Air Force and retired honorably in August 2015. Growing up, she has always had a passion for art, which served as a form of therapy, especially throughout her military career. Vega also wants to encourage other veterans to pursue art as an outlet for their emotions to help recover from post-traumatic stress disorder. Vega enjoys working with all types of mediums, such as acrylic and oil paints, charcoal and pencils, and is interested in learning about mural painting and sculpture. She hopes to create uplifting artworks by capturing the beauty in the world around us. Good, every, good morning, everyone. Um, I want to begin by thanking Ali for inviting me to participate in this fantastic Art and War program with Lam Arts um, as a means of expression and healing here at the U.S. Army uh, Quartermaster Museum. Thank you so much. Um, today, I want to share a story about two obviously different paths, but as we see um, in your information, thank you so much because I didn't know any of that, how much art was incorporated in, in the Army. Um, but um, yeah, I want to tell you about my, my different path, which is my time serving in the military and then my journey into the art world. Um, while these may seem very different, they have truly shaped each other. And my purpose in sharing is to demonstrate the unexpected connections that can emerge from um, my different experiences. So again, my, my full name is Joanne Vega Estramero. Um, I use my middle name Vega as my artist name. I am a military retiree who served 20 years in the Air Force. Um, I worked in logistics as a supply manager, which allowed me to travel all over the world. Uh, I was assigned to nine duty stations during my career. I served overseas in England, Korea, Guam, Italy, Oman, and Hawaii. And I served in the mainland states side in Florida, Virginia, and South Carolina. And South Carolina is where I retired from Shaw Air Force Base in 2015. I also participated in several deployments and TDYs, um, two of which were combat tours in Iraq and Afghanistan. Um, although I've had an extraordinary military career, it wasn't always easy. Um, there's always challenge that, uh, challenges that affected my well-being, mentally and physically. Um, one challenge was being away from home and missing my family and friends. I'm missing special occasions, such as birthdays, holidays, and even deaths. Um, another was dealing with the challenges of being a Hispanic woman in a male-dominated field, where I would have to prove my worth and, and strength as a worker and a leader over and over again, um, particularly when making rank, um, being in charge, and trying to give orders. <laughs> then there was the challenge of trying to help my troops with their own careers and personal issues. I also had to deal with the physical aspect of the military, of uh, doing physical training. I pushed my body to run and weight train in order to exceed expectations. These workouts took a significant toll on my body's health. Um, so how did I deal with all these issues? Well, one of the things that I've always had a passion for, it gave me a sense of peace with art. Throughout my career, I dabbled in art, whether painting aircraft on booths, um, creating pottery at the M local MWR, or drawing and painting my comrades' portraits during deployments. Um, however, I never thought about art as a career. Um, so how did I transition from the military to art? Well, after my retirement, I became a military spouse. My husband, William, he's a 28-year Army veteran, and was still um, active duty um, when we got married and we got stationed in Italy and Germany and there we got to the opportunity to travel and I was reminded of all the beautiful historical artworks um, that exist in that part of 
the world, which really, really inspired me. Um, however, as he began working, I struggled with my transition back to civilian life. Um, not having a job made the adjustment a little difficult. Um, I started taking online business management classes, but they didn't really spark any interest or, or joy for me. Um, then William, he reminded me of my passion for making art and encouraged me, encouraged me to paint instead. So his gift of an easel and paint marked the turning point of my journey <laughs> towards becoming a professional artist. After William uh, retired, we decided to move here to Virginia. Um, I researched art schools and I found an excellent art program at the Virginia Commonwealth University. Um, before being accepted at VCU, I actually started taking art classes at the Visual Arts Center of Richmond, which is also a great program here. Um, I started classes at VCU in 2020, and I'm scheduled to graduate in December 2024. I actually was supposed to graduate this um, spring, but um, I took the semester off to take care of myself, which is very important for my health. Um, and although I'm not in school, I still continue to paint at home, and it's helping me, definitely helping me you know, cope with my health issues. Um, so while working on an assignment at VCU, I learned, um, I'm sorry, I, uh, I discovered the art of Bart L. Hendricks. He was a, an, uh, he served um, in the New Jersey National Guard and his impactful portraits, specifically a Vietnam soldier painted in green and another man painted in pink sparked the idea for my Combat Vega painting here. In my painting, Combat Vega, I portray a powerful woman in combat attire, a symbol of feminine strength. This piece holds deep meaning for me. It serves as a channel for my, the emotions that I struggle with while serving in combat. Additionally, I believe it highlights the often overlooked reality of women serving alongside men in combat roles. So while receiving care at the VA Medical Center, I learned about the National Veterans Creative Art Festival. I submitted Combat Vega to the local um, competition and I was so excited to learn that they won first prize. Um, the local chapter then entered the, um, the painting nationally where it placed third out of an incredible 6,000 entries, which I'm really proud of. <laughs> so, I hope that you know you love this painting as much as I do, and I'm interested to know what you think about it. Um, thank you again for attending and uh, letting me participate in this excellent program. And if you'd like to know more about my artwork, um, you could look me up on my Instagram account. I believe you have some cards in the back. There's a QR code, so it's Vega V E G A underscore artwork. Thank you so much for your time.